Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. On 8th of April 2024, we have the amazing solar eclipse in the sign of Pisces, Mean Rashi. And this eclipse will be in the nakshatra of Revati, Revati nakshatra. Sun, Moon and Rahu will be in Revati. So Sun and Moon will be in 25 degrees respectively and Rahu will be in around 21 degrees. So as you know, solar eclipses are new beginnings uh, in some areas of our life. And that's exactly what we are going to discuss today for every ascendant. Remember, as I always say, this must be seen from your ascendant, which is your Lagna, your rising sign and not from the moon sign or Chandra Rashi. All right. So wherever your ascendant is, please check from there. All right. And if you want a personalized consultation and you would like to know what could this um, solar eclipse bring for you uh, specifically, then you could go to my website. To book a personalized consultation at www.exoticastrology.in God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So let's jump into the first. Aries. Always the first. What's going on with Aries? So for you, Aries Ascendants, this transit will be in your 12th house. Now what is the 12th house? The 12th house is the house of spiritual growth. The 12th house is also the house of foreign lands, uh, but it's important that you try to decipher yourself which among these could happen. So, for example, if uh, your Mahadasha or Antardasha is indicating that uh, the planets are related to the 9th house or 12th house. So, for example, if you are running uh, Mars Mahadasha in your original birth chart and Mars is in the 9th house or in the 3rd house or in the 12th house then this could certainly take you to foreign lands okay uh, but suppose your mars or uh, you are running moon dasha and your moon is in the fifth house or ninth house and then there is this eclipse in your 12th house then this could mean that you are going more towards spiritual growth okay and suppose you have the possibility of going abroad uh, then in your date of birth if you have the number seven and your uh, dasha is of either jupiter mercury moon venus then the probability is higher that you might go to a developed country and if you have the number four in your date of birth then you might go to a country where uh, there is some restriction like the middle east okay or to some underdeveloped countries or to a developing country and also, if your uh, Dasha is of Saturn Rahu Ketu, you might also go to a developing or underdeveloped country. And apart from this, 12th house, as you know, is also the house of uh, love affairs. So if your planets are indicating the 5th house and the 8th house and the 12th house, then this could bring a love affair for you. But nonetheless, 12th house is also the house of expenditure, which means uh, there could be some business expenses which you might incur. So uh, this means uh, if you uh, have your own business or if you are self-employed and you want to have some expenditure, some uh, good expenditure for your business, then now is the time that you should do it because you will be uh, wildly successful in this. Okay, so... You could also be, uh, it could also happen that if your Dasha planets are indicating the 10th house or the 6th house, you might go abroad, uh, you might get an on-site opportunity. Okay, so uh, you might go to a foreign land as a tourist or uh, with a proper work permit. So it would depend on your Dashas, what is going on. Okay, and as I said, if the third house is indicated in your Dashas, then you might take some short trips, uh, probably some tourist trips, uh, but it may not be something substantial like a master's degree abroad or uh, a higher education abroad or work permit. Okay. Uh, nonetheless, uh, irrespective of what happens in your life, you have to understand 12th house is the prime house of uh, spiritual glow, growth, seclusion and detachment. Okay. Which means there is a very important quality that you need to cultivate within yourself which is no matter what happens in your life during this uh, after this transit uh, after this eclipse you need to understand that 
because twelfth house is a dustana house so there could be some uh, issues which you might face which may not be as per your expectation so uh, do proper budgeting and understand that you might need some money uh, if there is an emergency okay so uh, please make sure that you if you have some investments then make sure you can cash them out at the right time so don't uh, open a big fixed deposit or you know don't uh, lock your money for like you know one year two years three years may, uh, as of now for the next six months it may not be the best idea of course uh, after uh, by the end of this year if you have uh, some money you want to lock it then you can do it okay and nonetheless you need to be detached and uh, do your best you need and uh, you have to leave the rest to god and at the end you have to understand that uh, for aries this is the time that you have to go deep within yourself okay you have to learn to do research and you have to understand that the more you go within yourself the more you read the more you learn the more you will understand how the universe functions okay so go deep within yourself or uh, take a pilgrimage go to a place which inspires you and meditate and do spiritual practices and if required take the necessary business expenses okay all the best aries so for taurus ascendance you win again this time this is exactly what i said when i made the jupiter video for you and this time you are winning even bigger because jupiter is in your first house in transit from first of may and now sun moon and rahu are in your 11th house these three massive planets in fact all the four planets will give you massive gains so therefore you are the number one winner you 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 win this year you win this transit and every other transit of this year all right so congratulations taurus you are you are you are you are the winner for 2024 so therefore this transit because this transit will act as the candle it's like the spark when the spark comes you win so you will see the effects of this uh, eclipse in the next uh, six to nine months so till the end of this year you will be able to see that something massive will happen in your profession of course this will primarily also depend on your overall chart and which mahadasha which antar dasha you are running because there are half a billion taurus ascendants it does not mean that everybody will become a billionaire but nonetheless depending on your level depending on your current situation as per time place circumstances you will be successful so you could become a millionaire or you could become a big politician or you could start your own business or you could just uh, be successful in writing your own book okay nonetheless regardless of whatever it is there will be massive gains and grand success through your network circle see 11th house is the house of network circle so if you have any business idea in your mind and you want to pitch it to investors or you want to raise funding uh, through any other source from your family friends or your colleagues your relatives anybody then this is the perfect time to ask for help 11th house is the house of getting help so ask for help ask and you shall receive and 11th house is also the house uh, which shows spiritual communities so you might be doing spiritual practices at a larger scale at a bigger scale uh, with a lot of sincerity because the 11th house is also the opposite of the fifth house which is the house of chanting mantra so you could also uh, see that now you are getting to observe the results of your spiritual practices which you might have been doing from a long time so therefore materially spiritually this is the house of grand success and the success is not just externally which means uh, not only will your net worth increase not only will you get professional opportunities not only uh, will you get a promotion uh, but there could also be uh, grand events in your life like you know marriage and childbirth so when i say success and gains it is overall your personal life 
your health and also your professional and your spiritual life so all the four corners of your life will be blessed by this transit okay so if you are in a relationship and now you think it is the right time to make the further commitments then yes please get married my best wishes and my good uh, prayers for you and also if you are already married then if you wish to have children this is the perfect time 11th house is the house of fulfillment of desire so god willing you could have uh, the birth of a child in your family okay so nonetheless whichever area of life it is uh, even if it is related to your health why do i say health because jupiter is transiting your first house so you could focus on your health your physique your fitness your appearance and uh, you could uh, become more influential in society by uh, taking big decisions in your life okay so for example you uh, decide to start your own business and then that business takes off and you become very famous within your circles so that could happen and uh, overall at the end you need to understand this is the house of networking so your first priority should be to network with people of course networking does not mean just interacting and just talking but try to provide value to others and you will see that people will offer their value to you uh, from all sides all right so taurus you win for this transit and for 2024 congratulations and wish you all the best all right gemini gemini lagna what's going on gemini you see this is the transit in your 10th house this is the most uh revered transit of rahu in your 10th house so after taurus uh, or rather uh, if i would say not after i would say equally at par with taurus you are also the winner for this year so gemini lagna this transit of rahu is massive it is happening in your 10th house 10th house is the house of the king it's royalty it is name fame power position authority and it is the house of grand status it's the house of awards recognitions um, it's the house of scholarship it's the house of uh, leaving a legacy it's the house of finding your life purpose or living your life purpose rather so gemini you win this transit because rahu's favorite house is the 11th and the 10th okay and imagine uh, the 10th house is the house where the sun gets directional strength which means the sun gets digbali in the 10th house and rahu's favorite job is to eclipse the sun and moon so imagine how happy rahu would be to sit in your 10th house now what does it mean rahu is sitting in the 10th house this means uh, you might get some big promotion like two three levels up okay so uh, you could bypass five to ten years of your professional life uh, with this transit okay and remember this transit will happen again uh, this eclipse might again come uh, like you know after a long time okay so therefore uh, please understand that these transits don't happen every day and this might happen again after 18 years okay so please understand that you need to uh, you need to categorically make use of this time and when you do this then what happens is you will not only get opportunities but you will also be able to use them okay now one word of caution for you gemini is that because of this transit in your 10th house you may get something very good okay which means you might get some good offer and you might accept it which is perfect nothing wrong with it but you also have to put in the hard work okay because saturn is also the karaka for the 10th house okay so for you during this transit you have to look out for opportunities you have to send applications you know if you want to uh, get a bigger job and ask for promotion all these things are perfectly fine and you may get good results okay but after you get 
the expected results do not just sit and do nothing okay you should put the hard work that is expected out of you otherwise there could also be downfall you may even uh, lose the position okay because uh, rahu is a malefic so everybody may say good things about you but uh, i am sending you a warning also okay so uh, if you get some big position then don't take it for granted don't take it cheaply don't take it lightly don't assume oh it's god's gift to you and you deserve it which you surely do as per your karma but uh, because uh, eclipses are traumatic uh, can be traumatic sometimes so you need to understand that if you put in the hard work uh, only then you can sustain okay of course this will depend on your uh, mahadasha and antardasha but in general as a word of caution i am passing this on to you and also if you are if you have been performing very well and uh, you have some award ceremonies coming uh, and you want to get yourself nominated you can do that uh, because 10th house is where the sun is in the noon time it's like you know at the peak on the top of our head and uh, as i said uh, this is the time to leave a legacy so if you want to build systems if you want to build a trust uh, or pass on your in uh, resources to your children or to to society or do charity then this is a great time and at the end the 10th house is the house which defines you as a person or as uh, a profession which means your profession uh, your name fame power position status is seen from the 10th house and also your life purpose so if you feel you are confused in life then uh, please try to see what you should be doing and if you need help then please go to a career counselor or an astrologer and uh, get some consultation from them in regards to your profession and i am sure it will help you massively so that you can take the right decisions okay so gemini you also win along with taurus congratulations and wish you all the best so now for cancer cancer so in the jupiter video i said you win this transit and even for uh, this solar eclipse also you win okay along with taurus and gemini so cancer you are also the winner for this transit because this transit is happening in the ninth house which is the most powerful trine okay so the ninth house when the when has an eclipse it opens new doors in your life for your self improvement for your mentoring uh, for doing higher education for going to foreign lands for getting initiation which is guru diksha and it also teaches you a lot about law and regulations and it also tells you what kind of a vision do you uh, do you have for your life you know what do you think is success what do you think will make you happy in your life so all these things come under the ninth house so just like for aries ascendants uh, for you cancer also if uh, your date of birth has the number 7 so you could uh be going to a developed country to uh, do your masters or phd and uh, if the 10th house is associated in your mahadasha or antardasha or even if the 6th house is associated or the 11th you could also uh, go for some on site job okay so uh, it's not just higher education it could be going to foreign lands for any uh, any professional uh, purpose also okay for job related reasons and uh, nonetheless irrespective of the fact you go to a foreign land for your masters or you don't you need to understand the ninth house is the house of upgradation okay and how do you upgrade yourself you read more you uh, get a mentor and you take training so mentoring is the most important keyword for you okay because a mentor can help you bypass uh, 10 20 30 40 or even 50 years of your life okay because a mentor he or she can give you the advice after going through the entire journey so therefore for you it is very important now that you check all the areas of your life because jupiter is also in your 11th house now fantastic time it is for you 
and in regards to certain areas where you feel you are not doing as good as you expected or as you want wanted to then try to see if you have somebody uh, in your close circles who is doing better than you okay so if you have problems in your marriage uh, then try to find somebody in your family or in your circles who have who has a good marriage and take their advice and um, also read the scriptures uh, chant mantras and uh, try to join a spiritual community uh, this is the perfect recipe uh, because you have jupiter in the 11th which shows uh, associations with spiritual communities and uh, because of this solar eclipse in the ninth house it also shows that uh, you can do very good uh, when you go to a higher uh, to a great personality okay uh, to a great soul so therefore you know, if you feel that you need to go to the next level now you are doing good in life but you need to go higher you need to learn more than go to a guru and uh, seek uh, advice from them and then you will do much better and this could also work for your health or for your professional life so uh, uh you should also be aware of the law and the regulations so if you are starting your own business maybe now is a good time to upgrade yourself and to be aware of uh, different things uh, related to the business you know like tax and uh, other things okay so that you don't get into trouble later on because ninth house is the house of knowledge so learn more about entrepreneurship learn more about finance learn more about business learn more about the scriptures and improve your vision okay so cancer you you win big time for 2024 because the two transits are in your favorable houses and therefore please upgrade yourself try to find a mentor physically in your city if not then try to find somebody online okay so do not waste time and improve yourself congratulations cancer and wish you all the best thank you so now we go to leo so for leo lagna what's happening very very interesting time for you jupiter is in your 10th uh, house in the sign of taurus and now for you rahu sun and moon are in the eighth house so this is a perfect recipe the perfect 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 recipe for having unknown gains in life okay so gains through stock market cryptocurrency real estate you just name it and it's there okay unearned money okay so there could be uh, inheritance uh, also because the eighth house is the house of uh, love relationships along with the fifth so if your Mahadasha and Antardasha is indicating that there could be a love relationship, so it is highly probable that uh, you might meet somebody uh, after this uh, eclipse and you might fall in love with them and get married to them later. Okay, Of course, for marriage, uh, you need to check your Mahadasha and Antardasha if they are agreeing for this. <coughs> but nonetheless, 8th uh, house is the prime house of research okay so you can see this photo you know all these numbers you know, stock market gains or it could be anything not just stock market it could be a app which you have in your hand or in your arms which measures your you know, fitness your blood sugar and everything else okay or blood pressure rather so therefore uh, you have to understand that now you need to do research in every area of your life i won't just say in one area of life you need to do research in every area of life and when you do this then uh, you will realize that you are missing uh, points uh, which you took lightly okay so therefore if you if you feel that there is some area in your life where you are doing good but you could do much better for example you have some targets for your health you know you want to get to a healthy bmi or you want to get some social media followers or you want to get a promotion irrespective of that you may realize now that you do not have the sufficient information and 
details that is required to get success so that means now is a time for self discovery which means uh, you should try to do more research and learn from uh, people who are experienced okay and if you do this then what happens is because your jupiter is in the 10th house 10th house is a house of resolutions and uh, therefore you will be very successful okay and nonetheless uh, irrespective of the fact uh, in regards to where you are in whichever area of life you need to understand that eighth house is a house which tests your patience okay so therefore uh, don't put all eggs in one basket as uh, the greatest investor of all times uh, warren buffett says uh, this uh, don't put all eggs in one basket so for example if you are investing into stock or crypto you invest money into one stock penny stock or you know some meme coin and uh, things are blown out of proportion and then you sell everything and then you buy something else and then that crashes that collapses okay so therefore eighth house is the house of darkness do not forget this which means you may be clueless sometimes okay so therefore for you it's very 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 highly essential that uh, you take advice from somebody when you feel lost okay so therefore uh, don't just uh, hover around if you are confused ask help and i'm sure you will receive help okay and please do your proper due diligence before you uh, go for any kind of investing okay so and this is also true with love affairs so for example if you meet somebody and you see uh, that they are having a lot of red flags in them then uh, please uh, make sure you do not continue the relationship okay or even don't start a relationship okay as the proverb goes by uh, the following like prevention is better than cure okay so therefore uh, your strategy should be to maximize your profits but also prevent dangers okay so congratulations leo this is a great time for research and gains so wish you all the best take care okay thank you all right virgo lagna what's going on virgo for virgo this transit is happening in your seventh house guess what what's the seventh house seventh house is the house of marriage so <laughs> great time for you to get married if you are looking to get married so if you are already in a relationship and if you feel that this is the time for you to go to the next level give that lifelong commitment then don't shy away this is the perfect time for you to get married and also the 10th uh, the 10th house uh, is the house of profession and the 10th from the 10th is the 7th house so the seventh house is the bhavad bhavam of the tenth house so this means that you might get some power position authority and you might be working in public relations okay now this could mean you are working in the government or uh, you are working in indirectly with uh, somebody who is associated with the government okay also seventh house as you know is the house of business partnerships so <coughs> If there is a time in your life where you feel that now you have done enough and you need to do more collaborations then this is this time is beyond perfect for you okay uh, when I say beyond perfect I mean it seriously for collaborations so Rahu transiting in the seventh house and giving this flavor of Eclipse can open up new majestic doors for you when it comes to collaborations okay so therefore do not waste your time try to do more networking because from the seventh house rahu also aspects your 11th house of network circles and gains so therefore if you get an opportunity to do some collaboration with somebody uh, so then please accept it without fail immediately and also send a request to somebody if you want to do a podcast with somebody then don't shy away don't think what will they think okay just go to the next level and also because uh, the seventh house is directly the opposite of the first house the lagna so 
uh, this could also mean that you are focusing a bit on your relationship with other people in general okay this is not just with your spouse but in general with other people so you are becoming a bit more conscious about your appearance and your uh, communication so if you feel that you lack confidence then uh, maybe it's good to take some courses on uh, good communication if you have stage fright and you uh, you feel that uh, you cannot give a presentation you fear then do it now okay so uh, go beyond your fears understand that everybody wants you to succeed uh, so for example if you are giving a presentation then uh, people are sitting there and listening to you so they want that you succeed otherwise it's a waste of time for them also so therefore uh, try to conquer your social uh, fears and also now is the time that you improve any relation that you uh, spoiled in the past okay so if there is any friend or colleague or relative or family member with whom you had a great relationship and now or uh, due to some reason you could not maintain that relationship you know there were some fights or quarrels or disagreements then maybe now is the time where you can go and talk to that person again you can try your best you know and leave the rest to god of course and at the end you have to understand that this eclipse will test your negotiation skills okay so the, the, this means that you might have to uh, do some serious negotiations with uh, those people who are very important okay and this could also mean that uh, you are going to a different place you are traveling to a different place and you are also uh, making some important life-changing de decisions because the seventh house is fourth from the fourth also which means uh, you might have a change of residence or you might go to a distant place okay not necessarily a foreign country but it could be within your country in a different state so therefore you have to understand that this is a time this transit uh, when you have to focus on your relationship with other human beings and the more you do this the more you will be successful okay so all the best Virgo Lagna so now we go to Libra Tula Lagna what is going on for Libra Lagna this is a fantastic time because now this eclipse is happening in your sixth house and sixth house with Rahu this is one of the best positions of Rahu uh, after the 11th and the 10th because sixth house is the house of enemies so therefore uh, if you want to get that dream job or uh, you want to crush your competition or your enemies then uh, this is the perfect time okay so don't waste a single moment get more into discipline and plan and organize and uh, you will see that success is coming your way okay so uh, during this transit uh, if you feel that you deserve a promotion then go and ask for it if you feel you should invest your money in the stock market or real estate or crypto or the bond market then go and do it anything that helps you to be more disciplined you know maybe opening a sip could be a good uh, good thing for you where uh, monthly there is a fixed amount which is deducted from your bank account okay so therefore you have to understand that this transit this eclipse will give you opportunities to do things that you should be doing every day okay so uh, the sixth house is also the house of health and diseases so it is imperative that you take care of your health okay now of course i don't mean to uh, threaten you by saying that you will have some life uh, threatening disease but you need to understand that even if you don't have any disease it does not mean that you are healthy okay you may not have any uh, terminal diseases but you may have so many other problems which are not manifesting now uh, in, a, in a big way which can manifest in the future okay so <clears throat> for libra it is very 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 crucial that you go and get your uh, blood blood tests uh, you know you check your sugar levels your blood pressure 
uh, and if possible your cortisol levels also because they could be a bit off track because of the stress and then you plan and organize your life you know uh, get a consultation from a good dietitian and see how you can fit your uh, diet schedule to your life okay so don't try to fit your life into your diet schedule but try to fit your diet schedule into your life okay if you fit your uh, if you try to fit your life into your dieting uh, schedule then uh, you will uh, not be able to do it for a long time okay so therefore uh, sixth house is the house of details so therefore uh, learn to check your reports you know not just your medical reports but you know try to see what are you doing in your profession okay so for example uh, i'm sure in every company there is you know performance evaluation metrics so therefore uh, when it comes to your job you need to check with your manager uh, because because of rahu it could happen that you assume something else and uh, you get something else okay so therefore uh, if you are new in the company and you are in your profession then uh, be careful and also go for a, a performance evaluation irrespective of how long you are in the company and also uh, if you have a portfolio of stocks and crypto and real estate and money in the bank or in bonds please check which how is which stock doing so uh, get control of your life you know get a hold of the areas of your life try to see where you are doing good and where you can improve and also uh, try to learn more as you know sixth house is originally the house of virgo and virgo is the house of analytical thinking so <clears throat> you need to understand that uh, this transit can be very good for you uh, provided you learn how to uh, do the work okay so sixth house shows work so this is the time that you have to work hard and you have to show to the world that you are somebody okay not in an egoistic or in an arrogant sense but you have to make your presence felt in this world by hard work and that is the only way and there is no other uh, shortcut to success okay so therefore for Libra Lagna, you need to understand that you can get that dream job, but you have to work hard and focus on your daily habits and your health and learn more. And at the end, you also can do some social service, be of help to somebody in any way that you can. All right. So thank you very much, Libra, and wish you all the best. So for Scorpio, what's going on? Scorpio Lagna, Scorpio Lagna, Scorpio Ascendant. This eclipse is in your fifth house. Now we know what the fifth house is. It's the childbirth house, which means if you're married, there could be birth of children. New life could be coming into your house and into your own life as well. Now fifth house is a very interesting house it's actually the most important house of the zodiac it's like the 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 most important of all the 12 houses because the fifth house tells you why do you get up in the morning what makes you what gives you motivation what keeps you going in life so this transit uh for you is not in a kendra it is in a trikona which is the fifth house it's a trinal house which means this will have more of internal changes okay now this means it is a very good time for you to introspect and see what motivates you to keep going in life every day which essentially means that if there is nothing that motivates you now is the time that you find something so this is the best period for you to sit in meditation and ask yourself why are you doing certain things the way you are doing or why at all you are doing certain things what is that you want to achieve where do you want to go so fifth house is the house of philosophical knowledge it's not just theoretical knowledge it is the second to the fourth house which is the house of uh, information and knowledge so second from that is the gain actually so fifth house essentially is the house of wisdom which means if you 
are doing certain things in life but you don't know the meaning the wisdom behind the, if you are just doing things ritually you do not know the spirit behind the rituals then now is the time that you try to find the spirit behind everything that you do starting from the morning till the night and of course nonetheless fifth house is also the house of love love relationship so there could be a love relationship which could come you might meet somebody after uh, this eclipse with whom you might enter into a serious relationship and uh, you might also get married later on okay why do i say marriage because uh, if you see jupiter in transit he, he is going to transit in your seventh house when jupiter enters taurus on 1st of may 2024 so essentially uh, for you even if you are in a relationship already it's a great time to get married or if you are single then it could also be a great time to get married or get into a relationship and then uh, get married okay either ways so therefore the fifth house transit will force you to ask yourself what are you passionate about so therefore or uh, try to find meaning in your life okay and nonetheless fifth house is the house of speculative gains which means you could have gains from the stock market cryptocurrency trading and all this okay and now uh, fifth house is a very interesting house because it is the house of visions okay so it could also happen uh, that you can get some visions now what, what do i mean when i say visions vision doesn't mean you get some uh, you see something okay uh, through your eyes it also means uh, you get an intuition about something in your life so for example if as of now in your life there is certain uh, there are certain areas where you know your intuition is telling you that maybe this will work or maybe that will not work so it could happen that your intuition actually works okay and you see that manifesting so therefore uh, if you are confused uh, in certain areas of your life then maybe it's a good time to seek guidance because fifth house is also the house of uh guru diksha it's the house of mantras okay so chanting mantras will actually help you om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo narayanaya hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare and doing spiritual practices journaling or uh, trying to see the meaning behind everything that you do and trying to find purpose in life okay so that is your mantra for scorpio ascendants uh, i am sure you will be able to find your passion and also the purpose of your life okay all the best scorpio so now we go to sagittarius dhanu rashi dhanu lagna okay sagittarius ascendant what's going on mm, needless to say <laughs> this transit this eclipse is in your fourth house now what is the fourth house the fourth house is the house of happiness it is sukha sthan and where do we find our happiness in general we find it in our home <laughs> well for many people you would argue and say oh i find my happiness everywhere except the house <laughs> that is also not wrong sometimes now what does it mean when it says fourth house is the house of happiness this means this does not necessarily mean that home is always a happy place but it means that for most of the human beings the home is a very important place of happiness so whatever happens in the home uh, can actually uh, impact our happiness in a big way okay so for example if things are good in our house then we may feel good and we may be able to focus on other areas of our life and on the contrary if things are not good then we may not be able to focus so therefore uh, this eclipse can externally uh, give you a home purchase or car purchase okay uh, this could be possible uh, also because uh, if you see uh, if you see the transits uh, of jupiter from 1st of may you will see jupiter will be transiting your sixth house okay now sixth house is the house of loans and debts so because this eclipse is in the fourth 
and your uh, Jupiter will transit the sixth house. So it could happen that you might take a big loan to buy a house, okay, <laughs> or a car. But what is important is to understand that you may or may not become happier after the house purchase, okay. So you may purchase a house but not a home. So if you want to go ahead and purchase a house, very good, great, do it, nothing against it. But if you think that just by purchasing the house, you will make it into a home, no, it won't work. Okay. So what do I mean to say is that irrespective of the fact you buy your dream house or your dream car, you have to work to convert it into your home, which means you have to uh, make the people in the home happy. You have to see if there is proper reciprocation, appreciate them and also try to uplift them. Okay. <coughs> And also fourth house is the house of education. It's the house of upgradation basically. So uh, from the fourth house, uh, there is the 10th house, which is exactly opposite. So if there are certain things like uh, certifications, which you need to do, or you need to learn certain skills, okay, not just external certifications, but you need the skill set, okay, then this is the perfect time for you to go ahead and uh, get the necessary skill sets that are required okay now if you do this then you will see that uh, your happiness is much better in personal life and also in the professional life so therefore you should work on your happiness okay sukhasthan as the fourth house and of course least but uh, last but not the least fourth house is the house of your mother so it could happen that uh, your mother needs a bit more attention Okay, and it could happen that your mother might uh, face some health issues uh, if she is running a bad dasha at this point in time. Okay, otherwise not. Okay, don't don't be fearful. Many people are asking me, oh, I'm Sagittarius Lagna. Will something happen to my mother? Well, absolutely not unless it is there in heart chart. Okay, just because you have a transit in your fourth house, uh, it does not mean that she will be affected certainly. Okay. But yes, if she already has some health issues and uh, she has a problematic period in her horoscope, then maybe it's time for you to uh, focus on her health. And even though she's fine, you need to give more attention, you know, try to give her some gifts and quality time and try to take her out to some places. You know, she will feel good. So essentially, uh, if you are planning to get into the real estate sector, this is also a perfect time, which means you could either do it for yourself, like, you know, home purchase or land or anything like uh, REITs, uh, REITs, or um, you could do uh, it professionally for others. You know, you could get a license for a realtor and then uh, go ahead. Okay, so essentially for you, you should uh, try to see what makes you happy. Try to find your happiness. Try to take care of your home and your uh, the people in the home and especially your mother and go for the dream home or dream car purchase if required. Okay. All the best Sagittarius. So now we go to Capricorn Lagna, Makar Lagna. What is going on for you? This transit is in the third house. This is one of the best placements for Rahu to be in because if you see originally third sign is the sign of Gemini right and Rahu gets exalted in the sign of Gemini okay and also he gets exalted in the sign of <coughs> Taurus but nonetheless for Gemini uh, surely the exaltation is there okay so now for you Rahu is like in the third house which is uh, similar to being in Gemini for you okay so therefore what is the third house? Third house is the house where you put yourself out in the world for others. Okay. So what happens when you put yourself out? People come and challenge you. People come and confront you. People come and compete with you. People come and want to destroy you sometimes, right? People want, uh, people come and they want to denigrate or downgrade you. So that is why <coughs> there is a lot of courage that you will require. Okay. So because this eclipse is happening in your third house so it could happen that you need a lot of courage to uh, undergo certain things in your life 
and because rahu is doing uh, does phenomenally well in the third house so you will get the courage by default okay so you don't have to think that there is no courage courage is there you will get it by default okay that is guaranteed and apart from that third house as you know is the house of uh, consulting it's the house of upadesh so it's the upadesh that you give to others so this is the period where uh, you could start to write a book or make youtube videos you know uh, all the social media apps you can see in the photo just pick one of them whichever uh, you like and uh, you can make sure that you are making content in that area in that app as per the preferences of the audience of that app or even if you are not entering into social media you could still try to make a personal brand for yourself okay so in linkedin or in youtube uh, especially these two platforms are very good so even if you are an employee you can make a personal brand within linkedin okay so you could take some webinars you could take some <coughs> Uh, courses uh, for people who are in your same domain okay and by that you can also gain respectability in the company also in in case you are an employee and of course third house is uh, also related to interviews so if you have any plans to apply for a dream job then this is the i mean this is the perfect time so for you the man mantra should be uh to do certifications quick certifications you know not like uh, some nano degree which takes like 3 months 6 months you know quick certification some things uh, certain certifications which you can do in like you know 2 weeks or 3 weeks or even 1 week and then once you do all of these certifications then you update your resume and then you apply for the dream job because third house is the house of interviews okay because when somebody is interviewing they are asking what do you have to offer okay they are challenging you so that is why the interview is seen from the third house so it means if your mahadasha and antardasha are supportive you could be able to crack some big interview okay of course this will depend on your chart uh, half a billion people will have this transit every it does not mean everybody will get into facebook or everybody will become a millionaire but it certainly means without a doubt that you might be given a chance to perform okay so therefore if you are given a chance to prove yourself then don't lose it okay don't waste your time whenever you get chance learn something new upgrade yourself and try to put yourself out in the world so for you for the next 6 months capricorn ascendance please challenge yourself okay challenge yourself in the gym by doing some coding tests or mathematics or anything if you are from uh, arts background commerce background just challenge yourself do something write articles and also publish okay so all the best capricorn good for taking voluntary challenges and i am sure you will be able to make a mark for yourself all right all the best all right now we are with kumbh lagna aquarius what is going on aquarius incredible time second house why do i say incredible because if you see rahu gets exalted originally in gemini which is the third sign and he also kind of gets exalted in taurus which is the second sign right so this is a very 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 powerful position for uh, increasing your net worth okay now people think net worth is just a combination of your assets and you remove the liabilities you know so for example you are own two houses you know worth uh, 1 million dollars and you have a loan of like 500000 dollars so you you have assets of 500000 dollars which is your net worth but what people forget is that the net worth is not just the amount of money that you have it is also the amount of knowledge that you have it is also the amount of influence that you have and it is also your thought process okay see the second house is the second 
uh, so you see the first house shows the body okay it shows you yourself the second house is the house right next to it which means the second house is the house that shows what you have what you what do you value in life okay <clears throat> what is your value system basically so therefore if you feel that you do not have the right value systems then this is a time to work on your value systems which is again a part of your net worth why do i say this because if your value system is not correct then eventually you will lose on money and your net worth if your value system is right if you know that you have to work hard and you work hard and you respect others and you treat people with dignity then what happens is people will respect you more and they will give you opportunities to help themselves okay <clears throat> so therefore during this transit don't just think of money which is the second house indeed but also think of values ideals and uh, society because the second house shows who belongs to you okay who do you think belongs to you so it can be your family friends or anybody okay it could be a stranger who becomes like a family okay so the second house can show your bloodline or people who you consider to be your family okay so therefore because the family is involved so therefore you must give special attention to your family members your husband your wife your children your father mother your in-laws your relatives everybody comes in the second house now of course you don't have to give attention to each of them artificially unwantedly but there will be something inevitable in your family which will now surface and you will have to take care of them okay or that particular person and needless to say because second house is the prime house of family so it is also the house of marriage so if you are already in a relationship and you want to get married you want to go to the next level give that lifelong commitment then this is the perfect time for you to uh, start the marriage proceedings with your spouse and with your family and your in-laws and if you are already married then this could also be a good time for you to have childbirth and uh, even if you don't have children or you have children and you are married it's a good time to uh, spend with your family and with your in-laws in general okay so therefore for you it's very important that you understand what this transit is this transit is the transit of expansion okay so you have to expand yourself expand your vision expand your thoughts your processes your uh, family members you know expand your uh, connections your contacts you know your net worth and most importantly you have to expand your self-worth this is something which people ignore okay so if you are into depression and there are some problems then try to find yourself okay try to see why you are depressed are you too dependent on others or are you too dependent on things how can you come out of it you know do spiritual practices and by that you will be able to become much more happier in life all right so don't just treat your assets as monetary gains okay they are also the good behavior and the good thoughts that you have all right so all the best aquarius now last but not the least pisces <laughs> this is the sign where the eclipse is happening okay so for pisces this is happening right in your first house first house is the house of the king and 10th house is the house where the king sits okay so therefore this is a transit which will directly connect to your heart to your personality to you yourself and this can give you exponential gains see what happens when there is a transit in your first house you become famous now why does it happen whenever there is a transit in any house that house gets activated so it means some event related to that house takes place now in this case because it is the first house so it is like an event is happening related to your uh, first house which is like the king of all houses okay 
so it could be anything you could get married you could have a different body physique you could have uh, you would have started your business you might get a new job it could be anything that is why there could be exponential gains but always remember whatever happens in the ascendant will directly be connected to your heart okay because it is happening in your head it will be in your mind 24 by 7 and then it can also reshape your personality in some ways okay which you may like or you may not like okay but there may be changes in your personality after this one so by the end of this year people may be telling you oh your personality has changed you have become different or maybe you are upgrading yourself and people uh, maybe a bit uncomfortable with that and you have to learn to make peace with it because everybody may not be your well-wisher they may also be uh, envious jealous and uh, hateful towards you sometimes when you are changing okay but that's fine uh, you are upgrading you are not demolishing you are not uh, wishing bad for anybody you are just improving yourself and you have all the right in the universe to do it and of course you need to discover yourself you need to find who you are why are you existing in this world what are you doing why do you get up in the morning what's your motivation what if there is no tomorrow what would you like to do what is that last thing that you would like to do if there is no tomorrow what if there is no death what will you do always okay what if money was not a question what would you like to do if there is no restriction tomorrow what would you like to do in life so these are things which you need to figure out and now is the time that you try to become independent now when i say independent i don't mean that you uh, keep boasting that you don't need anybody okay but if you have too much dependency specifically emotional dependency on somebody then maybe this is a good time for you to see why that is happening okay so for example uh, if you are too much emotionally dependent on a friend then you need to check why that is happening don't just go and say oh i don't need you no i'm not saying to do that but you need to find what is that friend providing to me which is lacking in my life okay and you have to see if there are some other sources some other people uh, who can provide that to you okay or maybe you have to do spiritual practices and get that inspiration from within <coughs> otherwise you may feel that you are becoming too much dependent on others okay and also as i said independence does not mean that you boast but it should be healthy independence okay so for example uh, if you enter a partnership with somebody then uh, you should be able to do your part without uh, becoming dependent on that person but as a part of the partnership you give up some of uh, give up some of your independence and let the other person also take care of it okay and you take care of some of their area so that is interdependence okay and at the end you have to understand that this uh, eclipse can boost your confidence it is a time to become more assertive and uh, exert your identity uh, your thoughts your willpower and your desires to the fullest okay provided it does not contradict with the word of the scriptures the rishis and god himself and provided it does not disrespect or hurt anybody else all right so discover yourself pisces go and try to find yourself and i am sure you will have a lot of gains and you will find yourself all right thank you so much please take care